assume a significance level of α equals 0.05 and use the given information to complete parts A and B below. The original claim says that more than 49% of adults would erase all of their personal information online if they could, and the hypothesis test results in a p-value of 0 0.3132. Okay, so if we're using, uh, we're given a p-value, so let's just go ahead and take a look here. So we know that the claim is the following. We know that the claim is telling us that the population proportion is 49%, and it's more than. So that means that the claim is that the population proportion is more than 49% of a decimal is 0 0.49. And therefore, the opposite of that claim is the population proportion is less than or equal to 0 0.49, since that's the opposite. Okay. Now, if we identified the null in the alternative, remember that the null hypothesis represents the equal sign, or it has the equal sign, so it has the equality, and then we have our, our alternative. So we know that the opposite contains the equal sign, so we know that the null hypothesis is going to be p, which is equal to 0 0.49, and we know that the alternative is that P is going to be greater than 0 0.49. Okay, so we know that. We also know that since it's greater than, this is a right tail test. Okay, and we're given a significance level to be 0 0.05. Now, in this problem, they give us the p-value, so we do not need the test statistics since we're given the p-value. So, let's go down to the p-value here. So, we know that the p-value is in the right tail because it's a right tail test. And so, that p-value is located here at 0 0.3132. So since we're given the p-value and the significance level, what we want to do now is we want to make that decision. So we reject the null if the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, and we fail to reject the null hypothesis if the p-value is greater than alpha. So we know the p-value is 0 0.3132. We know that alpha was given to be 0 0.05, and therefore this is greater than that significance level. And since it's greater than, we're going to say that this is fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, and so we're going to answer that over here. We're going to say fail to reject the null hypothesis, and that's because the p-value is greater than the significance level. So let's go ahead and select that result, and there is our answer. Now it says, without using technical terms, state the final conclusion that addresses the original claim, and which of the following is the correct conclusion. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to take a look at the options of when we're stating the conclusion for this. So we're going to have four different options. It says if the original claim does not include the equal sign and you reject the null, we would say that there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that and then write in the original claim. If the original claim does not include the equal sign, and you fail to reject the null, we would say that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that, followed by the original claim. If the original claim does include the equality sign, and you reject the null, we would say that there is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection, the claim that, followed by the original claim. And if the original claim includes the equality sign, or equal sign, and you fail to reject the null, we would say that there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection the claim. So if we come back here, we need to take a look at the original claim. Well, the claim has the equality sign. 
So we know that it has the equality. I'm sorry, not the equality. It has the inequality, so it doesn't have the equal sign. So it's either going to be the first two, and now it depends on whether we fail to reject or reject what was failed to reject. So that means we would do the following. We would say that the original claim does not include the equality because, and let me write that out here, the original claim stated that the proportion is greater than 0 0.49, so it did not include the equality, and we failed to reject the null. So therefore, we would say that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim followed by the original claim. So in order to say that, we would say the following. There is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that the percentage of adults that would erase all of their personal information online if they could is more than 49%. So it's going to be between B and D, and we would say that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that the percentage of adults that would erase all of their personal information online if they could is more than 49%. Check our results, and there is our answer.